Oh man, feels good to be out here. The air is still cold, crystalline, but the sun is steadily thawing it out. Today's hike is pretty unique. The trail is an omotesando, which refers to the main approach to a temple or shrine. But this omotesando spans several kilometers and ascends 700 meters up a mountain. The shrine at the top of the mountain is my objective. It was a chilly morning, and icicles upon the rocks bore witness to the frigid night that preceded it. came the sound of water. I soon came upon a flowing waterfall, murmuring behind some kori gates. This was pretty unusual in the dead of winter, so I decided to pause and look. sun began to show its face, thawing my limbs and lifting my spirits. Oh yeah, nice and sunny now. Praise the sun. <laughs> Up ahead were some strange looking tree husks. Perhaps they were struck by lightning. We're going straight up there. Hoo -wee. Up and up I went, surrounded by the whispering forests. The mountain peaks in the distance soon began to seem eye level. Okay, I don't know what this is. Maybe it's an emergency hut of sorts, or maybe it's an old tea house or something that's gone out of business. It looks in pretty good condition though. Another one here, also in pristine condition. My guess now is that these are inns and shops that are just kind of closed for the winter.
Almost there. Almost there. That was kind of better than I expected. What a view. So this is Mitsumine Shrine. It's a very atmospheric shrine that sits on top of this mountain. You can see for yourself how good it looks. Mitsumine Shrine Upon the summit of Mount Mitsumine Dates from the Edo period and is dedicated to Japanese mountain wolves once considered sacred The enigmatic mountain atmosphere combined with the ornate wooden carvings to evoke a mystical sense of beauty and wonder Wow man This is beautiful Quite amazing. So if you're wondering about the number of people that are up here, that is partly because there's actually a bus stop here. So you can take a bus all the way up here. But where's the fun in that? Okay, this is what I was looking for. A food place. Let's go eat something nice and warm. It had been a great experience, but the cold and hunger was beginning to get to me. Luckily, unlike most other mountain summits, heating and hot food is to be found here. Trying to rub some feeling back into my hands. Ooh, it's cold outside. <sighs> my fingers are so numb I can hardly use my chopsticks. <laughs> this is quite good. This is shiitake udon. I think that's handmade noodles. Not sure, but it's really good. I think this is probably a vegetarian restaurant because none of their dishes have any meat in it that I can see which would make this bust up here all the more curious not sure what that's about
I could of course take the bus down the mountain, but naturally, I chose to walk. about halfway down the mountain now and it is so much warmer pretty crazy how much of a difference a few hundred meters make Hiked up there, and then even higher. It's always a little surreal after hiking down, but it feels good. I love the feeling of being out here in the middle of nowhere Mountains everywhere There's an onsen facility in the train station itself So very convenient, we just need to get the bus, take it back to the station and then we can relax there So that over there is Mount Buko, which is kind of an iconic site here in the Chichibu area. And uh, the reason it looks like this is because it has been harvested for the longest time for its earthen materials. What I hear is that a significant proportion of the buildings in metropolitan Tokyo actually have their raw materials come from here. So that's why you see it so has this interesting look. Anyway, onsen. This is the Matsuri no Yu. It is right next to the station, very convenient. Nice little canteen here. Got some dinner, because mine as well. Bath was quite nice, a little bit expensive. But those chairs in the lounge, man, so comfortable. I was just sitting on them and not doing anything at all. <laughs> Thank you.